My name is Dula Chato. I'm Hungarian and Swiss, and I'm currently a postdoc at BGS Math. I work in the area of partial differential equations. I work on partial differential equations. Uh, these equations are very important, for instance, in physics. They describe uh, phenomena of many things in nature or economy, like uh, how an electric, electromagnetic field uh, looks in a domain, or the flow of a fluid, or the movement of waves. So usually physicists uh, develop models which set up the differential, partial differential equations, and sometimes they cannot solve them, or we need to give rigorous proofs, or provide a theory, which is then uh, easily understandable to, to many people and has also a lot of didactic value if we put clarity into a theory which has been discovered experimentally. Currently, I work on uh, something that is called uh, fractional Michael Simon Sobolev inequality, which is a kind of isoperimetric inequality for non local perimeter on manifolds. One of the favorite parts of my job is teaching. I like it because it can be very rewarding. You get a direct feedback. Uh, uh, if you have done a good job, it's similar like giving presentations and talks at conferences, which also people appreciate it a lot if you give a good talk. Whereas research can be sometimes very hard uh, or frustrating because you might work on a difficult problem for years and even if you solve it and you're very proud of it, you might not get uh, immediately recognition. Sometimes it can come on comes only after 10, 20 years, uh, you never know what uh, the fruits of your research will be. It is less clear. On the other hand, uh, only doing teaching would be quite boring without research. I would pick creativity because uh, many times you have to solve uh, problems in a by a new or original method. Some people say that because of the fact that I speak six languages fluently and have lived in several different cultures, I have a very creative way of thinking and come up with original methods to solve a problem. Another quality is perseverance. Uh, several times during my PhD thesis, my advisor even uh, complained that I'm too perseverant and told me to give up on certain problems. Uh, but actually once he was wrong, because uh, I tried again and again for many years on the same problem, and when he told me to give up on it, just two weeks later I had the breakthrough idea, which led to, so, to a quite nice uh, research results. Another quality is discipline. Uh, my father, who was a uh, almost professional swimmer, he said that he learned from his trainer that to be successful you always have to do a bit more than what is enjoyable. So when you are really fed up and you think now I've done enough, then you have to do again a bit more. But uh, last and perhaps the most important thing in research is your own independent thinking. You should uh, never believe uh, or well, never believe what others say and try to verify and understand yourself. I brought with me this little device which I still carry around every time I go to the mountains. So this device is a compass uh, which nowadays uh, no one uses because uh, everyone, like me too, uh, uses a GPS for orientation. But if the GPS fails, this little device can save your life uh, if you get in dense fog in the mountains. I have very nice memories of the times when it was a challenge to find the way in the fog with only this simple instrument. Uh, and I still like challenges like the research that I'm doing now. <laughs>